Assalamu alaikum. Today is our third lecture in pediatric tropical diseases. In this lecture, we will talk about tuberculosis and brucellosis. The objectives of this lecture, we will talk about etiology and transmission, epidemiology, pathogenesis, clinical manifestations, diagnosis, treatment and prevention. Etiology and transmission. Tuberculosis is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis and Mycobacterium bovis, which is a non-motile, non-spore-forming bacilli, which cannot be stained by Gram stain. It is stained by the Nelson stain. The main mode of transmission is by airborne droplets. So there is an important note that children with tuberculosis are rarely infectious. Usually infection occur from uh, sputum positive adult. Epidemiology, infection rates are highest in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. In these countries with poor socioeconomic status, poor nutrition, and overcrowding, which uh, consider a risk factor for tuberculosis. In developed country, um, in developed countries, we will find tuberculosis mainly in cases of HIV patients. Children account for 20, 10 to 20% of all tuberculosis cases. Pathogenesis, the lung is the portal of entry in about 98% of cases. After entering the lung, it forms what is called the primary complex or gone complex consisting of a parenchymal pulmonary lesion and hilar lymph node. Enhancing a cell-mediating immunity, most of the bacilli are killed. The parenchymal portion often heals by fibrosis or calcification after undergoing caseous necrosis and encapsulation. Viable mycobacterium tuberculosis persists for decades within regional lymph nodes. Here had a focus for reactivation of tuberculosis. During development of primary complex, tubercle bacilli are carried through blood and lymphatic vessels to the brain, kidneys, and bones, leading to extrapulmonary tuberculosis. Clinical manifestations. Uh, fever or night sweats, weight loss or failure to gain weight, cough which is usually more than two weeks, decreased activity in children. Next we will talk about extrapulmonary manifestations which constitutes about 20 to 30 percent of cases. Tuberculous meningitis usually occurs two to six months after infection uh, patient came complaining of headache, irritability, seizures, usually diagnosed by CSF analysis. Disseminated tuberculosis or miliary tuberculosis occurs two to six months after infection. It involves the lungs, liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Patient complain of fever, weight loss, generalized lymphadenopathy, and hepatosplenomegaly. Yani a disseminated tuberculosis with tuberculous meningitis, women in early manifestations of tuberculosis. Lymph node disease occurs six to nine months after infection. Uh, there is cervical, submandibular, supraclavicular lymph adenitis, usually unilateral. Uh, lymph nodes are matted together. It is diagnosed by fine needle aspiration or lymph node biopsy. Bone and joint tuberculosis occurs years after infection, most likely to involve vertebrae, uh, forming what is called Pott's disease or gibbous deformity and kyphosis, diagnosed by bone biopsy. This is a photo of a patient with Pott's disease of the spine. As you can see, there is kyphosis, very clear, and this is a gibbous deformity. Abdominal tuberculosis, buginum and ileum are mostly affected. The main complaint will be diarrhea, weight loss, low-grade fever, mesenteric adenitis, and peritonitis. It is diagnosed by biopsy or acetic fluid examination if there is ascites. It is rare in children and occurs several years after infection.
renal tuberculosis is very rare in children uh, can occur decades after the first infection عشان كده بكون child whistle already uh, adulthood uh, age it presents with sterile pyuria diagnosis of tuberculosis in children the most important thing is the history of exposure or history of contact with an adult with tuberculosis Number two is clinical manifestations and relevant investigations. And in the latter three corners for diagnosis of tuberculosis in children, we cannot rely on one. We have to find a history of exposure or contact. As in the adult usually is the source of infection for children. Then in the clinical manifestation, which we talked previously about, in the relevant investigations, which are bacteriologic confirmation, and this is done by Sputum for acid fast bacilli and sputum for gene expert. A gene expert who is a real time PCR. Okay. Uh, and then the next investigation who is a tuber clean skin test or man 2 test. It is considered positive if it is 10 millimeter or more in any child, regardless he is vaccinated or not. Or 5 millimeter or more in HIV or malnourished child. A third investigation is the chest X-ray. As you can see, this is an a chest X-ray of a child with tuberculosis. We can see here this is a hyalur lymph nodes, very clear. Treatment of tuberculosis, Tre uh, treatment of tuberculosis with the multiple drugs and long duration treatment. عندنا two phases of treatment حاجة اسمها intensive phase اللي هما we use four drugs for two months these four drugs are INH, rifampicin, pyrazinamide and ethambutol and next phase will continuation phase in this phase we use two drugs for four months يعني عكس بعض الأول four drugs for two months في continuation phase we use two drugs for four months these two drugs are INH and rifampicin. Okay. A role of steroids, steroids is indicated in certain cases of tuberculosis, alhumma tuberculous meningitis, disseminated tuberculosis, and pericardial effusion. Prevention of uh, tuberculosis is by BCG vaccination, which is given at birth in Sudan, because Sudan is one of the endemic countries of tuberculosis. Another uh, way of prevention is the use of INH for six months. This is given for newborn of a sputum positive mother. The يعني mother has sputum positive tuberculosis and she uh, gives birth to a newborn. So we use in this patient INH for six months to prevent tuberculosis in this newborn. Our next talk will be about brucellosis. We have the same objectives as previously mentioned. Uh, etiology and transmission. Brucellosis is caused by Brucella abortus, which is mainly found in cattle. Brucella molitensis found mainly in goats and sheep. It is transmitted by direct contact with infected animals or consumption of unpasteurized milk or milk products. Epidemiology. It is prevalent in Mediterranean basin, Arabian Gulf, and Indian subcontinent. Pathogenesis. Route of infection is through, can occur through the skin, the respiratory system, eyes, or GIT. These organisms can survive and replicate within mononuclear phagocytic cells of the reticulo-encelial system, forming a granuloma. Development of cell-mediated immunity uh, leading to macrophages activation and intracellular killing of brucella. Clinical manifestation. Incubation period is between two to four weeks. The classic triad of brucellosis is fever, two arthralgia or arthritis, three hepatosplenomegaly. يعني الثلاثة الأساسيات هم الفيفر. Arthralgia or arthritis, hepatosplenomegaly. All other features can occur or you may not find it. The abdominal pain, the headache, night sweat, uh, 
vomiting and diarrhea. Complications from osteomyelitis, meningitis, endocarditis is rare. Diagnosis. Diagnosis can be done by blood culture, but it may require up to four weeks, and it's a long time. So you need uh, an earlier diagnosis before the culture will be positive. This is usually done by detection of antibody by serology, by using serum agglutination test, or by ELISA. Another mode of diagnosis is a PCR to detect the DNA of the bacteria. Treatment. Treatment is divided according to the age of the child under 8 years or more than 8 years. In children under 8 years, usually we use trimethoprime sulfamethoxol, which is called septrine plus rifampicin. In children more than 8 years, we use doxycycline plus rifampicin or doxycycline plus streptomycin or gentamicin. Prevention. Prevention can be done by eradication of, or of organisms from animals, pasteurization of milk and dairy products. There is no vaccine yet. Thank you.